Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarkson, this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Supergirl Season 3, Episode 4. It's called The Faithful. So you got this guy getting loaded on a plane. He's getting super drunk and basically starts dumping his feelings on another random guy. Basically saying, because the other guy's so excited that um, his wife is pregnant and there's, there was child. He's like, oh, good for you. I'm just blah, blah, blah. It won't last long. But this is just some of his feelings. And so then the plane is going down, but it lands safely because that's the plane that Supergirl saved. And so what he notices is, is that everyone is having, um, is praying and all this type of stuff. So he's correlated that with Supergirl saving the plane. So that was two years ago. So we go back to today where... Samantha's daughter is playing soccer, and she's actually doing really good at soccer. I actually used to play soccer. It's a fun sport. Anyway, so um, then when Sam is on the phone, it gets off the phone, and she's trying to be in the moment, but not really. But a nut job basically uh, talks to Sam and hands her a pamphlet about uh, the word and stuff. And so she kind of just brushes it off, and then uh, Kara... Um, is with Lena and they're at her other office and then they run into Sam and Clara invites her to girls night. So, um, and then she sees the pamphlet and asks, can I see that? And so Clara's looking at research on it, doing research on it, but she can't find anything. So her, Wynn, and James all decide to go to the meeting. And it turns out it's a cult. And the drunk guy is the leader. So... There's that. And then, um, turns out Supergirl saved all the people in the building, and so they're all wor worshipping her. And so she's kind of uneasy about it. So, um, basically, um, they leave, and then you have girls' night. And Alice is starting to get a little baby crazy. Every time a baby anything pops up, she's like, what happened? What the... She's getting in that mindset like she really wants a kid, but Maggie still doesn't want him. So there's that. Then, um, then Supergirl hears a fire, so Clara leaves and stops the fire. It turns out the guy was waiting for her, and he calls the fire so he can be saved. And then Maggie says she can't do anything because it's freedom of speech and freedom of religion. And she can't do anything unless he told him or tells people to do a certain thing that's incriminating. So um, Kara um, and the team, the DO, they do research and his name is called, I want to say, Colville, something like that. I didn't really get it. Anyway, so Kara goes to talk to him and he automatically knows that she is Supergirl, and basically found Kryptonian technology that had Rails scriptures on it, and his more had that he did not show her, and Carl's just kind of like, and like, uh, okay, <laughs> and just kind of leaves, and then, um, turn, then Ruby falls asleep at, um, Lena's office where, um, cause Sam's a CFO, and she'll run in a bunch of, um, Contrast and someone tried to put a little block on it, so they had to go take care of that to make it all situated and right. And then um, Sam has a meltdown when Lena Luther comes over and she says, You did a good job. She's like, Sam, I know I'm doing good with the business stuff, but it's with the kids' stuff I'm having issues with. But uh, Lena reassures her, It's like, Look, she may not understand it right now, but it's teaching her how to be a badass because she's learning how to do all this stuff in the company and knows it's super important. So it can help her develop a more of a um, skill or type of um, drive in order to do what she needs to do. And so then we have James talks to Kara about the times their man saved him. It's basically like a like prayer. So religion is kind of playing a fat, a big factor in this episode, but it's more on the culty side. But then we're trying to lean more into the actual religion side. And then, at least that's what I got from Vermont. Let me know down there below. Appreciate it. <laughs> and so um, then, um, then Kara has Win uh, trapped the device, and it turns out the device is actually degrading and it can blow up. And 
Um, at first it was at the factory, but it's actually at a stadium where everyone's watching. And I think basketball is what they're playing. They didn't really show the sport. Or I was writing stuff down. I didn't see it the same. So anyway. Supergirl can't get near the device because it's laced, laced with kryptonite. And then um, she's not a god. And she kind of proves that because she actually cut her hand. And, you know, because apparently gods are not supposed to bleed and stuff. So uh, that kind of debunks everyone. So everyone leaves except for the guy. And the guy tries to turn it off, but it doesn't work. And in fact, it ramps it up. And then um, Alex chucks the kryptonite away. Then Alex and the guy push into the hole that Aunt um, Carmen with her heat vision. And she kind of just kind of collapses on the floor. And then Kara gets the guy in prison, and he's still kind of cray, but uh, knows that she's lost and her vision's cloudy. Because when he saw it through the window, she had like this freedom and stuff, and now that's kind of been diminished. So he knows something's up with her. And so um, she leaves, and then, then Kara perform. Um, then there's a Supergirl performance at the middle school where Ruby is, and, the, and it was kind of cute. And then Ruby's singing. The alley kind of, Alex kind of freaks out towards the end and then leaves and she finally dumps on Carter that she really wants kids and Maggie's still a no budge on that. And then Carr um, cut, tries to comfort her and it doesn't, it doesn't really work that great. Just because Car um, Alex is so active and she knows Alex is not going to change her mind. Then, Al um, then we have Carr does Ralph's prayer. And then, and then it goes to everyone doing a, like a, some type of prayer or something at the end of the episode, which I actually kind of liked. And then, um, then Sam's Sam is about to take a bath or something. And also, her her body turns into tats, and all of these weird symbols all over her body. And basically says, "Pretty soon you will reign." And then some figure tells her that and disappears. And it turns out um, when they pushed the device into the hole, it landed to the ship and made it turn online. And something is, someone or something is in that thing. And that's in the episode. So I'm very excited what's going to happen for season five. That's going to be super interesting on what's going to happen there. Um, <laughs> um, I'm, so, trying to get kind of my thoughts a little bit. Um, I'll probably give this. Mm, I'll give this an A, just because I, I don't like cults so much. Um, but uh, it's a really good episode, and I do like how Faith is kind of intertwined in that. And you have a little bit of the crazy side and a little bit of the better side. So it's like a good mix, I feel like. And the character, I want to say the guy's character, to me, is... I think he's the same guy that plays Rex Vanderkamp on Desperate Housewives. I've then been turning out some Desperate Housewives people on the show. And I never liked that character at all. I don't know why. I just cannot get into it. <laughs> his character. I don't know. If it's it's got to be the actor because I didn't really like him in this. I didn't like it at all. So that's why I give it to A. If it was some different guy, I'd probably would give it an A plus or something. I don't know. Something about him is just off. Everybody just plays a, a crazy person very well. <laughs> um, but other than that, great episode. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye, everybody. And have an awesome day. Bye.